for the last two months I've been using these foot pedals full time. Should you also start using them? Well, the answer is yes, you should buy them right away. Well, I'm just kidding, but to really find out, watch this video. For about the last two years, I've been using a different keyboard. I switched from a sort of regular keyboard to this Advantage 2. And one of the benefits is that my hands, my hands, they don't really have to move. They just stay in this position and they just move like this. They don't really move like that. And this movement, it was not so good for my hands. It's not so good on a regular keyboard for me. And as you can see on this keyboard, there are these thumb clusters. So I've been using them because they're really useful, right? On a normal keyboard, you have a space bar. That's the only thing your thumb does. But on these kind of keyboards, you have this thumb cluster. And it's useful because there are so many different functionalities and features you can theoretically do, as I used them for. The problem is that I actually used my thumbs too much and it caused me to get some problems. Basically, my thumbs became irritated. They were more susceptible to pain and repetitive strain injury. And so this was becoming a bit of a problem where some days it was fine and some other days it was getting a bit bad. And I was thinking of ways to combat this. So I remapped all the keys so that I didn't have to use the thumbs anymore as much. But I found that some keys, it was so difficult to put them somewhere else. And those keys, yeah, I needed some other way to use those keys. So I researched about foot pedals. I was aware of them, but I was reluctant to buy them. I researched what other software engineers were thinking about this. Sadly, I found very little on the internet. There was like one or two blog posts about someone buying foot pedals and saying like, hee hee hee, let's see how this goes. But there wasn't really anything substantial or interesting. And on Reddit, which is normally a great resource to research things like this, people were very dismissive. They were saying that the feet are sort of a different, controlled by a different brain region or something along those lines, that you cannot really get the same quickness and agility and all this that you have with your fingers. You can't really have them with your feet and more so you can't have those two coordinates. So your feet with your hands or more, your fingers more precisely. But since they only cost 40 euros, I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought them. And I must say, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I've been using them now for two months and it's been pretty decent. I'm able to use them fairly well. The keys that I mapped onto them are enter, spacebar and backspace. Those keys I really frequently need. And it was so my goal was to use the most frequented keys where I have to move my hands a lot. So if the keys are part of the normal alphabet, this keyboard that I'm using, it's really easy to use them. So again, here, this is a normal alphabet. It's really easy to use those keys, but other keys like shift or these keys, it's like I have to basically move my hand and I want to avoid moving them. And I found, I found that those keys were the most frequently used keys that I wanted to remove strain from. And so I moved them to the pedals and it's going well. This actually means that I intensively use the pedal. So I will use it all the time. And that brings me to the negatives here. So while it works and that is great, the negatives are that you can't do the worst one. I would say you can't combine those keys with the keyboard. So I would like to map maybe shift or more importantly, command. I would like to put those on the pedals however you can only use them in isolation you can't say command s for save it would not work and so that would be a massive help if that somehow was possible but so far it's not another thing is that the usb cable is unreasonably short and that's a bit silly because most things are about to have usb cables attached to them those cables tend to be long but here where it's a foot pedal there it's really short and if you think about it foot pedal is where the feet are and the feet are usually fairly far away from where your USB input device or your computer is or yeah so that's a bit silly and I think when I will get a standing desk which I'm planning to get it will become even more of a problem I have to then buy an extension cable but that's a bit annoying anyways another problem is that the pedals are really non-sensitive it's really 
you have to apply a lot of pressure to activate key press and I don't know what they were thinking maybe that you rest your feet on those pedals but I found it's better to just rest your toes on them so that you have a lot of fine control and here I actually have to go really hard to get a key press it's probably possible to adjust the sensitivity there are there are these little holes here which you can adjust with an allen key but sadly they did not include an allen key in the pedal packaging and i do have some but they don't have the size of these two more problems are that they are really loud so when i'm using them it just creates so much noise which is fine when i'm alone but if i was to work in an office i wouldn't really be comfortable using them and another problem is that they are really imprecise so I struggled with this a lot at the beginning where I would press and sometimes it would register and sometimes, sometimes it would not and that was really frustrating but after some time I found out that the left side or rather that the right side this here is really imprecise so it will barely register but the left side actually is reversed on the camera but never mind you get the point is it is um, really precise so once I with my toes go to this side then it works so these are the negatives however as i said it actually works to use it and crucially what these people on reddit said that you can't really coordinate your feet with your hands quickly i'm not able to do it super super quickly like the quickest person in the world but after two months of regular usage i'm able to do it quite quickly and it's improving still so yeah, it's like slowly getting better and better. My coordination is getting better and better. So I think it is a skill that you can simply pick up by using it. So in programming, you need these keys, enter space and backspace. You need them somewhat frequently. But recently I started writing some texts and there you obviously need this space many, many times, like after every word. And so I've been actually getting better at this whole thing because I've been writing text more and they practice they make me practice this activity of pressing this space thing on the pedal. They make me do it more and I'm getting better at it. So that's something to take into consideration that maybe I just haven't been using this as intensively as I could have and therefore the learning goes better when you do that. So should you go out there and buy one of these? Well, that's up for you to decide. But for me, I'm actually probably going to buy a second one of these for my other uh, foot. And this brings me maybe to the last little nitpick is that a really nice feature would be so they have software that allows you to map stuff to these pedals. But it would be cool if you could have something like macros or commands. So I would like to open or pick programs like Chrome or the terminal. I would have I would really like to have one pedal where each of the pedals corresponds to one application that I use. Maybe VS Code, Chrome and the terminal that would be really nice but yeah i don't think this is possible but that would be a really good feature and yeah, something to think about well i hope you found this interesting anyways have a nice day bye